In today's video, I will show you how to add music from the YouTube Audio Library in CapCut. CapCut is totally free to use and can be found in either the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. To avoid copyright claims, make sure you have the rights to all the music you are going to use. You can use music from the YouTube Audio Library. One of the things I don't like about CapCut is that there is no way to add an audio file to a project directly. First, you have to convert it into a video. Notice that if I tap on audio, I can add sounds and add effects. So how do you add an audio file like music from the YouTube Audio Library? Let me show you. You have to use the extract or extracted option. If I tap on it, you'll notice that only videos are made available. To get around this, if you have an iOS device, there's an easy option. Use iMovie. I'm going to close CapCut and open iMovie, and then I'll bring an audio file directly into an iMovie project and export it. I'll create a new project and tap on Movie, and then tap on Create Movie, which gives me an empty project. Notice if I tap on the audio area on this screen, I don't have what I want, but there is a way to add audio from files. If you tap on Files, it opens the Files app. Then I can search for the audio track I want that I downloaded from the YouTube Audio Library, this one here. When I tap on it, it brings the audio track into iMovie. Notice that there is no video because this is just an audio track. That's okay because when I bring it into CapCut, I only want the sound. The other advantage to doing this is I get the whole track. So I'm going to export this out. I'll tap the export button and then tap which on will save, save it video. to my camera roll. I'll wait for the export to finish, then I'll close on iMovie and open up CapCut. I'll tap on OK, and now I can open CapCut. Here's my project. Now I'll tap on Extracted one more time, and you'll see that I have a new video that was just exported from iMovie. So I'll long press on it to take a look at it and hear the audio. Then I'll tap on Add and add it to the project. If I scrub forward, you'll notice that this audio track is significantly longer than the video clip. All I need to do to fix this is scrub to the end of the video clip. That's the end of the audio track, so I'll scrub backwards a little bit. Now I can select the audio, and I have a bunch of options. I can tap on split and delete the unwanted audio. Because this is not the end of the audio, but the end of the video clip, I can also tap on Fade to fade it out. When I do that, there's a fade in duration and a fade out duration. Since I'm fading the music out, I'll adjust the fade slider for fade out. Now you can export your project by tapping on the export button and waiting for the export to finish. You'll find the exported video in your camera roll. It should be the last thing you recorded. 